Would you like to make thousands of dollars with affiliate marketing through a website or a blog for free worldwide? After seeing hundreds and hundreds of affiliate marketing websites, I have noticed that there are seven extremely common mistakes that beginners keep on doing over and over again. Especially avoiding the mistakes four and seven will skyrocket your chances of success. And in the end of this video, I will give you two bonus tips that can really give you the final breakthroughs to your success. And we are going to start right away, but before that, if you appreciate the work that we do for you for free, for filming, planning and editing, for creating these videos, show some love, smash up the like, so it will give a small boost for YouTube algorithm and other people can find this video as well. And if you haven't started your website or blog yet, make sure to follow the link in description for the Wealthy Affiliates training, where you will get the tools that even your 90 year old grandmother can use to build a website. And you will learn all the steps that you need to take to make large income with affiliate marketing. And after watching this video, let me know in the comments which one of these tips was the most important for you. Because if you write it down, it will sink into your mind even more powerfully. Mistake number one is trying to do everything perfectly from the beginning. I see this over and over again. When people get started, they think that their website needs to be perfect right away. But the truth is that when you start your first website, you are going to make mistakes. That's inevitable. And later on, you are going to edit those first posts. You are going to maybe recreate them. And if you are trying to do things perfectly from the beginning, you are slowing your process to success. So I want to make this clear. A nice logo will not make you money. Nice design will not make you money. Nice website layout will not make you money. But writing blog posts and getting visitors to your website and getting them to click your affiliate links and buying the products you recommend, that is going to make you money eventually. So the first and the most important thing is that you simply get started, start writing the blog post, start creating content instead of focusing on perfect design or perfect editing. I will also leave you a link for Nathaniel's five beginner mistakes that you can avoid to fasten your progress for weeks. Nathaniel has helped thousands of people to get started with affiliate marketing and make money online. So I highly recommend checking out his blog post. Mistake number two. I did this when I got started and I wasted hundreds, if not thousands of hours because of this make. I was not targeting low competition keywords. When you write a blog post and you want it to get ranked on Google, you want to get free traffic from Google worldwide, you need to be targeting low competition keywords, especially if your site is a new one, because then you will get ranked and then you will get visitors from Google and earn money with that. And I've created a specific video where I walk you through that process. So I will leave you a link around this video where you can learn to find the low competition keywords. Mistake number three, using bad and boring titles. Title of your blog post is the most important single piece of your blog post because if your title is boring or uninteresting, people are not going to click it and they are not going to read the article. You may spend 5 hours or even 10 hours creating a perfect blog post, but if your title sucks, nobody is going to read it. That's why I highly recommend that you spend a lot of time and effort in your blog titles. Include the keyword at the beginning of your title and then use for example numbers and leave so called open gaps. So for example ask a question in your title so people need to read your article to get that question answered. The truth is that nobody reads every single detail of a blog post but almost everybody is going to read your title. So read your title carefully and spend time and effort on making it great. And mistake number four, if you make this, you are not going to make a lot of money. Not thinking about your reader. Always when you write, keep in mind that you are not writing for yourself, you are writing for your readers. So enter the conversations that your readers are already having in their minds. Think about the questions that they are asking and give answers directly to those questions. The first few sentences in your blog post are the most important ones. You can think about the questions, for example, 
Why are they reading this kind of text? What kind of answers are they looking for? What desires do they have? What fears do they have? Then it's much easier for you to enter those conversations. It also helps you if you have an avatar of the person. In the other words, where is this person from? How old is he? Is he a female or male? What are his hobbies? And all these things. So when you have this person in your mind, it will be easy to write this person directly. And always use you and I form rather than we form. When you use forms like you and I, it feels more personal and it will build trust between you and the reader. Mistake number five is very common, but it's very easy to fix. Using too small font. Because if your font is too small to read, people will go away from the website. Especially elderly people, because their eyesight might not be so cool. So they will click away from the website and you will miss that visitor. So you can fix this easily by using a larger font on your website. This will increase your user experience, it will increase the time that people spend on your website and also elderly people they will more likely buy from you because they can read the text and that is also important because usually elderly people have more purchasing power, they have more money than younger people. And you can fix this issue in less than 5 minutes, so why not make these easy ones at least? Do you remember when you were a child and you were at school, then your teacher taught you that when you write essays, make them at least 3 to 4 paragraphs long. But when you are writing blog posts, the thing is actually the opposite. The sixth mistake is that people are writing too long paragraphs with their blog posts. Each paragraph should be 3 to 4 sentences long maximum, because as you and I both know, when people read text and blog posts on the internet, they are not going to read everything. And if it's like a big sea of text, big wall of text, they are not going to read anything. So break down your paragraphs into smaller and shorter ones. Sometimes a paragraph with even one sentence is enough. So it's easier to read because people skim through the texts instead of reading everything. When you break down the paragraphs, it will make it easier for your readers to read it and they can find what they are looking for faster. Mistake number seven, not having your own domain name. If you have built a website, for example, your website.siterubix.com, you should make it into yourwebsite.com. So you have your own domain name, such as google.com or facebook.com, for example. That has direct benefits into your business. First of all, it will rank your website higher on Google. Second, it will make your website look more professional and your visitors will trust you and buy your recommendations. Third, it will build your website authority faster, because the older your website or older your blog is, the more authority it will have on Google. New websites usually don't have much authority, but as the time goes by, it will gain authority and get ranked more easily. So if you don't have your own domain name yet, get it right away. I will leave you a video somewhere around where you can get your domain name in two minutes by following my simple steps. And now I will give you two bonus tips and these can really give you the final breakthroughs. Bonus tip number one. I see that so many people write too short blog posts. When I was getting started, I wrote blog posts that were 500 words, then I increased it to 700 words, but that is too short. Personally, I write all the blog posts usually minimum 2000 words. You don't need to have a specific number, but nowadays Google appreciates longer and comprehensive blog posts more than shorter ones. Sometimes people ask me, should I write for example, three blog posts that are each 1000 words that are around the same topic or one blog post that is 3000 words and put everything into that one. You should choose the longer article. One long article is better than three short articles if they are around the same topic. But of course the word amount also depends on the keyword and the topic that you are writing about. And bonus mistake number two is that people are not linking between their blog posts. If you want to get ranked on Google, if you want to get traffic from Google to your website, you need to be linking between your blog posts. So leave at least a few internal links in each blog post, so it means that you link from blog post A to blog post P and so on and so forth, 
and also one external link per blog post. It means that you link from your blog to somebody else's blog. For example, Wikipedia or other authority websites are great. Now, if you want to learn more details on how you can make money with affiliate marketing websites, make sure that you finish the training at Wealthy Affiliate because they will teach you step by step by step everything you need to know. And you will also get help from the community and you can ask questions from more than 2 million people. Wealthy Affiliate training helped me to go from a complete beginner to making a full-time income online with affiliate marketing websites. And let me know in the comments below which one of these tips was the most important in your opinion. When you write it down, it will sink into your mind even more powerfully. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the likes and subscribe to my channel for more Make Money Online videos. And you and me, we will see you inside Wealthy Affiliate and in the next video. Have a wonderful day.